I want to start off by saying Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharashai, Kohala Yahawu Ba Shim Yahashai, Kohala Yahawu Ba Shim Yahashai, Ba Shim Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that told me this doctrine and truth and sincerity. Shallow on to the elect, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means he is or he exists. Ba Shim in the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We know his name to be Yahabashai, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. Ba Shim in the name of the Rakak Kwadash, which means the Holy Spirit that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. You so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or other speckled bird, looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahab Ba Shim Yahabashai. We could be one of the elect. Shalom, we've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, such and commitments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give uh, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to the very elect, the ones that would believe, the ones that would call upon the name, the ones that would come under um you know the the good shepherd okay which is our lord yahweh shai okay and that word would be demonized it would be called extremist it would be called radicalist okay but the lord um shall preserve his very elect to the end okay um to be able to fulfill prophecy and this is prophecy that um that we would be hated for thy truth okay we would be hated for uh yahweh shema shai's sake okay and that is actually a blessing Okay, and what we're seeing is um, these different, uh, um, you know, factions of Esau, Edom, you know, starting with Babylon the Great, okay, um, which is America today that fornicates with these different nations. They're pushing forth their new world order, the Novus Order Secorium, which is on the back of your dollar bill, okay, which is a one world military, a one world religion, a one world um, government, okay, that will be controlled by these elites and they want everyone to have a mark embedded inside their hand or their forehead to control their buying and selling. And it will be governed by a blockchain, okay? And what you say and what you do will be, um, you know, will be held against you, okay? Far as the things that you can be able to do in this society, if, if you are against the regime and what they're pushing, okay, you're going to be called um, a dissident and put in these different camps, okay? And they're bringing forth these unrighteous decrees, in these different areas, okay, um, and which is ultimately coming to Babylon the Great, okay, so they can be able to, um, you know, call you, you know, um, a criminal, okay. Meanwhile, these are unrighteous decrees. So this is in Australia. It says Australia introduces no law that would kill free speech and democracy, okay. And democracy just means um, that they have, you know, they, they put out uh, democracy, again, is more lenient to the people do as basically that do as that will spirit but what democracy does is it creates um problem action solution okay um where there becomes a lot of uh, uh, problems in the area because of of uh, rulership okay of, of a democracy that's divided because the people are divided because they're the elites the the rothschilds the rockefellers the oppenheimers the duponts the Warburgs, the shifts which they are biblically the edomites the so-called white man uh, has a scheme where he where he pushes forth divide and conquer, okay, dividing the people to uh, follow one wicked thing and then to follow another, okay. They're uh, going through their, um, you know, Revelation thirteen eleven, okay, where they're you know the, the the two horns, okay, the Democrat and the Republican, okay, but they're of the same eagle. They both work for the same people, which are the elites, okay. And this is in Australia, but this is also being formed. Um, in America, okay, uh, through the Restrict Act, which is the Patriot Act too, um, you know, uh, taking away um, the right to speak, okay, taking away the so-called rights that you have, the Constitution or the Bill of Rights, okay, to be in draconian, okay, and so this is from um, the People's Voice, right? It says the Australian government recently introduced a new law proposal to ban unofficial, unapproved online content. Okay, so who is the one that's actually saying if this is misinformation or disinformation? They have these boards that they hired uh, people to be able to, um, if they're pushing agenda, okay, um, to, like, for instance, you had the thing that happened a couple years ago, 
So that was an agenda that the elites or, or a climate change, these certain things like that, that are being pushed. OK, but they're they're coming to find out that they're nothing but, um, you know, nothing but, um, you know, ways to be able to put the peer, the people in fear. OK, to follow the new world order. OK, because climate change and these different things that they're pushing are actually nothing but uh, schemes and plots to have the people uh, be controlled. OK, <laughs> it says. If the misinformation differ, disinformation bill is enacted, then the free expression of ideas will basically be outlawed. Yeah, because you will own nothing and be happy. And the things that you say will be held accountable. And that's the same thing that the Lord's saying, too, is that every idle word shall be accounted in the day of judgment. OK, um, digital companies will be expected to adopt a, a code of conduct, which will see your censor speech based on broad, vague and far reaching directives. So. If you're against, um, you know, the man on man, woman on woman, you know, bestiality, pedestry, okay, um, you know, taking the mark. If you're against these things, then you are going to be uh, called a dissident. You're going to be called, um, you know, uh, outlaw or extremist or radicalist, okay. And I'm going to show you, you know, um, through receipts that, you know, this is not just happening in Australia. This is happening worldwide, okay. And I also have. Um, a, I believe I have a video too. It says RT reports that the communications legislation amendment combating misinformation and disinformation bill in 2023 foreshadows the imposition of legal obligation on digital platforms to police alleged misinformation and disinformation. If that does not work, the law proposal provides the full empowerment of Australian communications and media authority to directly intervene for purposes of preventing harm. OK, and what this is going to lead to is what um, the famine of the word Amos 8 and 11. OK, where um, you're not going to be able to uh, hear this word where the elect will already be sealed. OK, where they're going to be, um, uh, you know, coming down on those that are, are speaking the truth and those that are against the regime. OK, let me get a couple of uh, scriptures real quick. So this is Psalms 109 and 2. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are open against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. So they're going to be um, saying that the Bible is, is, is um, it has to be outlawed, which we're also seeing that too. It has to be outlawed because it's against um, people, you know, um, saying that they're men and women. Because you also have that too, where uh, people are being arrested because they're saying there they're only is two genders. OK, there's not a bunch of different genders that's um, being called um, that you, you know, if you're saying that there's only two genders, <laughs> this is the confusion. This is why this is Babylon. OK, um, if there's only two genders and you can be arrested. So these are the philosophies, uh, the image of the beast is pushing. OK, they're pushing these philosophies again, bestiality, pedestry, you know, transhumanism, merging uh, um, human with robot. OK. And you are going to be a fender for that word if you're if you're um, preaching this word in truth and sincerity. Psalms 109 and 2, for the mouth of the wicked. Who's the wicked? Esau, Edom. Okay, they're the ones that are in control of the different media platforms. They're the ones in control of YouTube and, and, and Twitter and these uh, Instagram and these different accounts. Okay, and even on Twitter, they're saying that they're going to stop certain things, but there is controlled opposition. Okay, Psalms 109 and 2, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the C4 are open against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. Okay, and that's what they're going to be doing um, is speaking with a lying tongue. Okay, they're going to be speaking um, with those sharp razors. Okay, which is what their, um, their unrighteous decrees. Okay, this is uh, Psalms 31 and 18. Psalms 31 and 18, let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Yeah, they speak very arrogant uh, words, okay, um, saying that you will own nothing and be happy. That's very arrogant, okay? Um, why? Because they've been in power for so long and their pride has deceived them, okay? And the Lord has put them in a trap and a snare that when they try to come after the very elect, okay, they're going to be hit with that standard that the Lord's going to lift up for his very elect, okay? And uh, those slanderous words are not going to be able to affect the very elect, okay? Um, yeah, that right, yeah. So, and that's it's true, okay? When you read uh, just quick scripture, Job 5 and 17, Job 5 and 17, it's actually about, yeah, 
Job 5 and 21. You will be safe from NLT. You will be safe from slander and have no fear when destruction comes. So we're going to have no fear when the destruction comes. Okay. When the food and the water and our livelihoods are, are cut off. Okay. We're going to be able to have food, water, and shelter. Okay. Through thus the Lord, via the Lord. Okay. Because the Lord has given us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to be able to understand the, 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 um, the, the destruction that's coming down, the time of Jacob's trouble. Isaiah 33 and 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and thy strength of thy salvation, and the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So it is a treasure to what fear the Lord. Because in that, that fear of the Lord, the Lord's going to give us a, a straight path, which is a position, a position of difficulty, but the Lord's going to be able to guide us and give us direction, far as the things that we will need to be able to endure to the end. Now, some of us are going to be mortars for the truth. Some of us are going to be beheaded for the truth, okay, and put in these different camps, okay, but the Lord uh, said, hold on to your crown, okay, which is hold on to this understanding, and don't let, you know, um, you know, things that are getting, you know, that the sufferings that you have to go through, you know, get you down, okay, um, it speaks about that actually in the apographer, um, let's see, I haven't went to it in a minute, let me see, I think it's Sirach 28, <clears throat> because also it says in Revelation 6, hold on to the oil and the wine, which is what the, the oil is what the truth, okay? The wine is what the, the, the um, this word is this truth, okay? Uh, Sirach 28, it's about like 14, I think. Yeah. Uh, Ecclesiastes 28 and 25 and weigh the words wait and see yeah it says and weigh the words and balance and make the door and the bar for thy mouth so again even through the suffering that we go through um, the Lord is going to put a spirit on the very elect to be able to endure the suffering okay endure endure the persecution okay and weigh out our words far as we're not going to speak against the Lord when, when adversity comes upon us okay it says, and weigh the words in balance and make a door, a bar for thy mouth. Beware thou slide not by it, lest thy fall before it, him that lieth in wait. Yeah, and who is lying in wait? Okay, Esau eat him, because he is like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Okay, he's set up to for those that um that don't want to hearken to Yahaba Shema Shai. Okay, those that don't want to hearken to Yahaba Shema Shai, okay, are gonna get caught up in the plagues, the bloodshed, the strife, and the calamity. Okay, because they're trusting in uncertain riches instead of trusting in what the Lord has presented, which is what the truth, but only the elect's going to be able to attain the truth. And they're going to hold on. Okay, they're going to weigh the words in balance far as uh, coming out with um, sound doctrine. Okay, and for those words that we speak, we're going to be persecuted. Okay. And again, that's just like our Lord Yahweh Shai was persecuted. Okay, which is a blessing. Let me get that scripture. Because just like the prophets before were persecuted, okay? And if we were a prophet back then, we're a prophet now. So we understand that what we're, what we're dealing with. That's why it says weigh, um, you know, count the, uh, count the cost, okay? And through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, okay? Because we know the plagues that the Lord is come, bringing forth, okay? And that's why it speaks about Sirach 5 and 7, make no tearing to turn to the Lord, okay? Um, for suddenly he shall come in an instant, roughly paraphrasing that. Okay, because the Lord's coming to judge and we're seeing the judgment far as um, the things that are happening in the world. Okay, far as prophecy being played out and we are obsessed and we are addicted about prophecy. And one of those uh, prophecies is that uh, Esau Edom would come in a, and attack this word that we would be persecuted. The great accusation. Okay, the accuser of thy brethren. Matthews 5 and, um, and 10. It says, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteous sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, there is the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Shall so falsely for my sake. Okay. And that's what is going to be happening. Let's get this word uh, revile. <laughs> Strong's G, 3679, Anidizo. Anidizo. Okay, undeserved reproach. Okay. Let me see what it's got in the Google definition. Yeah, 
revile. Yeah, criticize in abusive, angrily, insulting manner. Okay? And that's what's going to be happening. Because this word is going to be demonized. Okay? But that's the way it has to be. These, these that, that, That's the way. Because they can't do nothing against the truth before the truth. Okay? Because just like they persecuted Yahweh Shai, they're going to persecute us too. Okay? But we have to know that the Lord has given us comfort and given us peace in the scriptures. That men are going to revile, but that is a blessing. Criticize and abuse, angrily, insulting manner. Okay? Yeah, censor. And that's exactly what we're talking about. Express severe disapproval. Yeah, because this world is evil. Okay? And the deeds thereof are evil. Okay? But the Lord is the light and the truth. Okay, and the truth shall what set you free, set you free out of the out of this the mindset of a Babylon the Great, which Babylon means confusion, America means bitter. Okay, and they're going to attack. Okay, criticize or oppose fiercely and publicly. Yeah, publicly. Okay, where they're going to have our faces on the screen. Okay, or fa you know uh, wand and posters. Okay, as far as the demonization of this word, but again, they can't do nothing against the truth before the truth. It has to happen. Okay. Um, and again, so it's a blessing to be reviled. Okay. Um, yeah, taunt. Okay. Cast in the teeth, so suffer. Yeah, so there's going to be suffering as far as uh, you might open up your bank account or go to your bank account to get some money and you're not able to get it. Why? Because they freeze your bank account because of... Um, because they're going to say hate speech, okay? And then what are you going to do? That's why we have to stack our treasures up in heaven, okay? Our conversation is in heaven, but it's being played out on earth, okay? And we're waiting on our Lord Yahweh Shai to be able to come back. And one of the things is to be persecuted, okay? This is what it says, Matthew 5 and 12. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they, the prophets which were before you. Yeah, so the, pro the prophets were persecuted. But well, does that mean that we have to hold it in a napkin? No, we got to let our light shine. Okay, which the light is the truth. Okay, it says, um, 14. Okay, you are the light of the world. Matthew 5, 14. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. So we're not being hid. Okay, we're being talked about in the, in the, um, in the mountaintops as far as the governments. Okay, far as how can we be able, these elites, how can we be able to stop this truth? We, we have to come out with the um, unrighteous, you know, decree. We have to come out with the, with the law that's going to, um, you know, keep the Internet on because they want the Internet on because it's ignorance that's being pushed also. Okay, but they don't, but they want to stop the truth. Okay, but again, the Lord's in control of the whole movie. Okay, he controls both good and evil. Okay, that light is the truth. It can't, cannot be hid. Okay, the city is set on a hill. So a hill is what a mountain. Okay, it cannot be hid. Okay, neither do man light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick he give it light unto all that is in the house. So that light is what the truth. The Lord Yahweh Shai has given us the Holy Spirit. Okay, to have that light in the house of what the tabernacle of David. Okay, which is we would be part of the temple. Okay, and that light is shining through what our Lord Yahweh Shai. Let your light so shine before men. So that's what's happening is the light is shining before men. And through those men being out there on the highways and the byways doing these videos, other men are able to enter into their labors and do the work also and follow the good shepherd, which is our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. Yes, yeah, see your good works. That's why you can't hide it in a napkin. OK, um, if you have this truth, eat the whole roll and go out and teach. OK, to be able to give our people warning. OK, um, make a um, let me get a scripture. Okay, we're not supposed to be silent about these things. That's why um, the apostles have been pushing, uh, you know, to, to, to constantly do videos. Okay, Isaiah 62 and 6, I have set watchmen. Who are the watchmen? The watchmen are the prophets. What are we watching? The prophecies being played out. Okay, the wars, the rumors of wars, the class wars, the civil wars, the earthquakes in diverse places. Okay, uh, the persecution, the, 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 the accusations. Okay, uh, the slander. Okay, the false prophets, the true men of the Lord. I have set watchmen, okay, the prophets watching, the the which prophecy means to say before, okay? We're saying before it actually happens, and now these things are being found faithful and true, that it's not just entertainment or it's not just a fad. These things are actually happening in real time, okay? This is a conversation, okay, that's being had in public, but, it, but it's actually a secret, okay? 
because only the mysteries are given to the servants, the prophets, and only the flock of, of Yahweh are going to be able to have the understanding of that new song being sung. Okay? And when it's not being sung correctly, be able to, we look like, you know, look back like what? You know, <laughs> with that what face of when that comes out. And then that goes into the defending of the gospel, defending of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay? Isaiah 62 and 6, I have set watchmen upon the walls of Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night, or that you make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. So that's what you have. You have videos going out day and night. Okay, what? Via the internet. Okay, that's where the apostles always say the, the internet was created for what the prophets. It wasn't created for all this other folly that you see. It was created for the prophets to be able to push this word. Okay, to keep not silence day nor night. That's why you have videos of brothers going out day and night. Okay, this is uh, Psalms 19 and 1. It says, To the heavens declare the glory of the Mosai, and the firmament show his handiwork. So the firmament, okay, the, these are channels that are going out, okay, that are going out to brothers, and brothers are subscribing to what? Brothers that are like-minded, okay, and describing from the things of the world, okay, and the firmament is what the internet, okay, from you can be able to watch a brother in Australia, watch a brother in UK, Watch your brother in Mexico, okay, um, just in wherever that you're at, okay? You might be, in, I'm in California, you know, and you can be able to watch brothers in New York or whatever, you know, Australia, okay, where the, where that unrighteous decree is at, okay? So the sh the Lord's what showing his handiwork, okay? What's showing what the truth, the city that uh, this light is is um, being shown before all all people, okay? And it's reached the, the government officials, Okay, it's reached to what the, the noble men, as far as the people at the tops, the government officials, Psalms 19, and now they're now they're now they're coming out with what um, these unrighteous decrees. Psalms 19 and 2, it says, Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where the voice is not heard. Okay, so you can be able to if if you speak um you know Chinese or whatever a different language, you can be able to uh uh you know, change the, um, you know, change the, uh, you know, someone speaking in English, but you can be able to hear it in whatever language, whatever dialect that you want to hear. You have brothers that are, that um, sp uh, speak um, sign language, okay? There is no speech nor language where the voice is not heard. Yeah, so this voice, the, the, it's going to reach the ears of the elect. The elect, they're going to be able to attain the truth, okay? It says, uh, so, and there was a, uh, Someone did a, a breakdown on that, okay, and said there is no speech nor language where the voice is not heard. And they were trying to say that's the reason why they say, uh, you know, the word JC or whatever. They say it in the English or something like that, okay? And that's not speaking about that. That's speaking about you're able to, um, whatever your language is, you're able to hear it. You have brothers that speak Spanish, brothers that speak, again, sign language, okay, um, you know, uh, um, different, different dialects, Swahili. Okay, and what are they all coming into accord? Following Yahweh Shai, Psalms nineteen and four. Their line is gone out through all the earth. Yeah, the line is gone out. Okay, because again, the channels. Uh, this this word is referred to. Um, you know, uh, John seven and thirty eight. He that believeth in me shall flow rivers of living water. So this water is flowing throughout, which is the truth, is flowing out through the different channels, which brothers are subscribing to those channels. Okay, their line is gone out. Uh, through the earth and their words to the end of the world, and they have have he set a a tabernacle for the sun. Okay, let's read this in NLT. It says, "Yet their message has gone throughout the earth, and their words to all the world. That power has made a home in the heavens for the sun. Yeah, the home is made a um. And what's happening is this kingdom is being rooted out. Okay, and through this word, we're being cleansed with the word. Okay, Ephesians uh, five and twenty six. Okay, and this." This word is what covering the earth, okay. Two and fourteen, and that's the problem that Esau Edom has because he loves the internet because it pushes folly, but it's also exposing him, okay. Habakkuk two and fourteen, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge and glory of Yahweh Shemashai as the waters cover the sea, okay. And the, and the, uh, the waters is a metaphor for the truth, okay. Um, and the sea is a metaphor for people, okay. And that's also a twofold scripture because. With this word going out throughout the four corners of the earth, the judgment is also going out. And the Lord's going to be, uh, um, uh, you know, covering 
<laughs> covering Basra, okay, covering Babylon the Great, okay, going into that scripture that was broken down um, not the correct way by um, um, the bishop, okay? The scripture is speaking about our Lord Yahweh Shai, okay, also covering um, Basra, which is which is America today, and what destroying um, their their um, kingdom, okay? Because that's eventually the judgment that's going to be uh, played out. But right now we're in the in the midst of where there's going to be a famine of the word, okay? And then and then the the Lord Yahweh Shai will come to judge, okay? And also to what save? Jeremiah forty nine and twenty two. Behold, he shall come up and fly as an eagle. That's speaking about Yahweh Shai because he's going to come upon. Uh, these uh, these different uh, um, you know upon Basra okay but also these different nations okay but this scripture is speaking about Basra which is a modern day America today okay which are which is a reference to what the um, uh, the Edomites okay the Idumeans okay behold he shall come up and fly as an eagle and spread the wings over Basra and at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom so another reference to um, the Idumeans, okay, which is the so-called white men today, the international bankers, the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart as a woman in pangs, okay, and that scripture lines right up with Isaiah 60, uh, Isaiah 63, okay, far as the Lord is coming um, to judge Basra, okay, which is, we know that to be Esau Edom, okay, which is America today, right, and so as these waters cover the sea, as the truth is is being forecasted throughout the four corners of the earth these devils are being found liars okay and they're being exposed so they want to come out with what hate speech okay this is drawing 29 uh drawing 33 and 29 happy or thou o israel this is also a double full of scripture because um the lord's going to be covering their high places the lord's going to be treading upon going into that eagle okay flying over which is our lord you have a shot okay coming with those uh the chariots okay the chariots of fire Okay, which are the, the world Indian calls UFOs. Okay, Deuteronomy 33 and 29. Happy are thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee. O people say by the Lord, Yahweh, thy shield of thy help. Yeah, the shield of thy help, because our Lord Yahweh Shai is our help. Okay, and he's helping us right now by giving us comfort of the scriptures. Okay, and that's why this devil is trying to demonize this word. But again, he can't do nothing against the truth before the truth. The Lord Yahweh, uh, thy shield of thy help, who is thy sword of thy excellency. So the Lord is going to protect us with that triumphant sword. Okay, which the sword goes into judgment that he's going to have. Okay, either the judgment or the mercy that the Lord will have. Okay, upon you to either be able to protect you or to be able to 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 cut you. Okay, Hebrews four and twelve. Okay, um, the shield of thy help, who is thy sword of thy excellency, and thy enemies. Okay, thy enemies shall be found liars, and that's what's happening. They're being found liars. Okay, at, at their highest places, at their at their um, you know, government officials. Okay. At the gates of the nobles it says and thy enemy shall be found liars unto thee and thou shalt tread upon their high places okay and right now this word is treading upon their high places okay because also going into another scripture uh speaking about our lord yahweh shai because yahweh shai is entered into that strong man's house by binding up this devil okay with this word okay exposing him making him bare okay this is Job 15 and uh 21 <laughs> It says, a dreadful sound is in the ears and prosperity. The destroyer shall come upon him. Who's that destroyer? Yahweh Shai. That dreadful sound is what this, this word coming out. Okay, this word coming out, exposing them, casting down the imaginations, all the lies and the deception that they have brought out. Okay, bringing forth the truth. Okay, Joel 15 and 21. The sound of terror rings in their ears, and even on a good day, they fear the attack of the destroyer. Who's that? That's Yahweh Shai. Okay, their time's up. Okay, and we're seeing that unfold because iniquity has a balance that it cannot pass, okay? And we're at that point where his, his, his time's up, Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed a balance that he cannot pass. So there's a balance that this devil, Esau, Edom, the so-called white men of today, cannot pass, okay? But he's going to be able to, um, you know, implement uh, um, the mark of the beast, okay? But in that time, there would be the hour of temptation of the sixth trouble that the Lord's going to intervene. Okay, because what the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. Okay, let me get that scripture. This is Job 20 and 5. It says, the triumphing of the wicked is short. Okay, a joy of a hypocrite but for a moment. And the hypocrite goes into being godless. And this is a godless nation where they they um, they act like they're godly, but they're actually ungodly because they don't follow nothing of the scriptures. They follow the ways of the wicked of the devil. 
okay, which devil means deceiver, Satan means deceiver, okay, um, you know, our sake, Satan means adversary of righteousness, okay, which they, they deceive through what their, um, their unrighteous decrees. The triumph when the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, though it's actually mounted to the heavens and his head reaches to the clouds, going into their, uh, they're at their point where they're actually declining in their kingdom. And that started in uh, 1969, 1970, when they, when they said they went up to the moon, which was a lie. Okay. But at that same time, that was when Elder Abba Bivens was opening, opening up the, um, you know, uh, was out on the scene. Okay. Elder Abba Bivens. Okay. Which is Elijah in the reincarnation. Okay. Uh, pushing forth this, uh, this word. And then you have men that have what entered into the labors. Okay. Entered into the works of doing, doing what you see today. Okay. Job 20 and 6 does actually mount up to the heavens and his head reach into the clouds. Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. That which have seen him shall say, where is he? Yeah, because again, this, this devil is going to be Obadiah 1 and 18. Okay. And everybody's going to see uh, the fall or the great fall of this devil. Okay. 8. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yet he shall be chased away as a vision in the night. Their eye, it says, the eye also which saw him see no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. Yes, yeah, so he's not going to be able to uh, pass on his inheritance to, to another. They're not going to be able to, uh, like that fable that they say, the phoenix rising. They're not going to be able to come out out of their bunkers because the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to drag them out. And they're going to be the first crop of slaves. Okay? And this is what they're afraid of. Okay? And that's why um, the persecution is coming down. Okay? Let's go back to this. This is the article. Okay, it says a hatred against a group in Australian society on basis of ethnicity, um, nationality, race, gender, uh, sexual orientation, age, religion, okay, physical, mental disability. Okay, and so the Lord is against you know, the Lord has a people that he loves and the people that he hates. Okay, um, so the Lord is actually, if you want to say that, racist. Okay. And he loves Israel and he hates Esau. Okay. And we'll just get a scripture uh, to back that up. This is. Um, okay. Romans 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the Lord hates a particular people. Okay. Um, and he set up the border of wickedness ultimately so the Lord can be able to destroy it. Okay. And who is uh, Jacob? Jacob is the righteous one. Okay, they are both uh, twins, but there was two manner of people that were in that womb. So manner means what? Uh, nations. There was two nations in the womb. Jacob would be the righteous one, and Esau would be the wicked. Okay, and how do we know who the wicked is? Because of the what the actions that he would be pushing, and because the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Okay. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not, and where, and who is he? So the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Okay, who covered up those, those dark images? When we were in rulership in the Byzantine Empire, Esau Edom. He came with his iconoclasm and the, and the, uh, the rebirth, the Renaissance, um, the Renaissance, um, Renaissance art. Okay, came with the uh, you know, iconoclasm, coming with the pale face image of uh, what, Caesar Borgir. Okay, which goes back to Serapis Christi, that pale face image, okay, that our people worship. You know, they got the crosses on, they they, they got the Mother Mary, all these different, uh, you know, worships of these different idols. Okay, Esau Edom did that when he came into power in about the mid-1300s, okay, um, which was the rebirth of the Roman Empire. Okay, when they would come out to what deceived the nations. Okay, these are the wicked, okay, which is the so-called white men and now. They're the ones that are in control. Okay, how do we know? Because they uh, would be pushing forth uh, perdition and also they would be exposed. Okay, the son of perdition will be revealed. He's being revealed by, by what he is actually doing, that he's pushing pedestry. Okay, he's pushing bestiality. Okay, that he's pushing um, transhumanism. He's pushing, uh, you know, uh, dual genders. Okay, or, or, you know, man on man, woman on woman, transformer. He's pushing that. Okay, he's he's a, he's he's setting up the gay BCs in your school. He's setting up the transformers to have uh, uh, um, transformers in your school giving lap dances to, to five year olds. Okay, this is what he's doing. Okay, it's being revealed. Let me get it. Second Thessalonians two and eight. Okay, let me let me start from four and I'm gonna skip down. 
okay? Because he's entering into your minds by constantly submerging, which goes into the word Sodom. Okay, Sodom goes into the word, um, or Slakia, a Gomorrah goes into the word uh, submerging, okay? And, and Sodom actually means burning, but, but Gomorrah means a submerged. So they're submerging. When you turn on the TV or you turn on your phone or whatever, or you look at your phone, what are you seeing? You're constantly seeing the images of man on man, woman on woman, you know, um, uh, uh, sexualization of, of the children, okay? Um, a lot of these cartoons and stuff, they'll have innuendos as far as things going on in them. They'll have, you know, like, di like the Disneyland and stuff like that. There's always... Uh, those, you know, Pinocchio, these different stories that go back to, um, you know, wicked things. Okay. Second Thessalonians two and four, who oppose and exalt himself above all that is called the Most High and that is worship so that he is that power sitting in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is God. Okay. Esau Edom has a God complex. And what is he doing? He's raising himself up. Okay. And that he is a God when he's just a mortal man. And a lot of people trust in this devil. Um, so whenever they, they, they say something, they believe every word that they say. When you read, um, just like they did with the, the thing that happened a couple of years ago, okay, they, they, again, our people have Stockholm Syndrome. They believe every word that your oppressor says to them, okay? Um, Psalm 73. Yeah. Psalm 73 and 10. And so the people are dismayed and confused, drinking all the words. Yeah, so they everything their president says, they believe it. Oh, there's something, there's a boogeyman out there. Oh, okay. Let's let's go get this. Okay, this is going on. Let's go get this. And that's why they want to control, um, try to control the internet. Okay? But again, they can't do nothing against the truth before the truth. Psalm 73 and 10. And so the people are dismayed and confused, drinking all the words. Who's drinking all the words? The people that are in the cities. Okay, but the elect are, are drinking the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, um, there's another scripture. This is Psalms uh, 10. <laughs> this is Psalms 10 and 2. The wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. Who are the poor? The ones that are at the bottom. Okay, we don't have a, a military. Um, we don't have where, where people are fighting for us in, de in democracy or, or, you know, Democrat or Republican. We don't have someone in the, in the White House, okay, that's actually fighting for the poor, okay? Uh, all, those are, all those are unelected officials that are paid for and bought by Esau Edom, okay? The wicked in his pride, yeah, so wicked through his pride do he persecute the poor. That's why you have um, in, in Jake communities, you have the... Um, the, the ghettos, vadios, and the reservations, you have the worst type of living, okay? You have concrete jungles, okay? The the, the reservations, they're living, uh, you know, like a third world country, okay? The ghettos and vadios are filled with drugs, guns, uh, gangs, okay? And a constant um, push of, of Christianity, Roman Catholicism, okay? And then you have a liquor store in each corner too, okay? And and having our people being, um, you know, in a state of darkness, Okay, with the with the music that's pushed, the 808 beats. Okay, our people are being destroyed, and and they're particularly targeting our people. Why? Because they have a perpetual hatred towards you Israelites. Okay, the wicked in his pride. The wicked is Esau Edom. The wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. Yeah, Malachi one and four. The border of wickedness, also known as the rulers of darkness. Okay, Esau Edom. The wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. Let them be taken into the devices that they have imagined. Yeah, their devices because. When they implement this this mark of the beast, that's going to be the end of their rulership, okay? Because that would be considered the hour of temptation, and that's when the elect will be sealed, and the Lord's going to in, uh, put up that standard. When the, when the Esau Edom shall come in like a flood, the Lord's going to lift up a standard, Isaiah 59 and 19, okay? So these devices that are being plotted, we have to, um, you know, fret not. We have to trust in the Lord, okay? Because they're going to be caught in their plans and their schemes, and that... that um, that's why when you read Psalms 17 and 2, or 17, sorry, 17 and um, like 14, let's start from that. Psalm 17 and um, yeah, right here, 8. It says, Psalm 17 and 8, keep me as the apple of thy eye, hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Who's the apple of the Lord's eye? The Israelites, okay, going into... Um, who the Lord loves, because the Lord doesn't uh, love everybody, as I just read in uh, Romans 9, okay? 
The Lord has his own portion. He has his, um, um, what was the scripture? Deuteronomy. <clears throat> That's what it is. Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Mosai divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of people according to the number of children of Israel. So it doesn't say these different nations. Okay. And who did the, why did the, what separated us from, from, um, from the nations was what the Lord gave us. Okay. Leviticus 26 and 46. These are the statutes and judgments and laws, which the Lord, our power made between him and the children of Israel, Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. That's what separated us from um, being these other nations, because how the Lord sees these other nations is nothing but a bucket of spittle. OK, now we've been scattered. OK, we've been scattered among the among the heathen nations. OK, Isaiah 40, Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. OK, Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are a drop of a bucket. OK, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the aisles as a very little thing. So again, when you have a buck and you carry a five gallon bucket of water, if you drop a little bit of water, you're not worried about it. You're not going to go back and let me pick that up. That's how the Lord sees these heathen nations. Isaiah 40 and 17, all nations before him are as nothing and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. But we've been scattered among these nations. OK, so you're going to have Israelites that are going to look like the so-called white men or the so-called Chinese men. That's why you have to try the spirit by the spirit. OK. That's why those that are coming in the form of, of black only or, or, or Latino only, okay, um, they're coming they're coming in their own way, okay, because the Lord's here to gather his elect, okay, and he's not here to gather these heathen nations. These heathen nations are about to be judged because they are living in their heaven, okay, they are living in their, their um, you know, their place of, uh, of peace, okay, while we're, we're living in the ghettos and the vadios. Why? Because we have transgressed the law. Only people that can transgress the law, okay, what is sin? Transgression of the law. Who was given the law? I just read it, Leviticus 26 and 46, okay, the Israelites. That's why we're in the ghettos, vadios, and reservations, okay, but the Lord is opening, um, you know, uh, giving us the, let me, let me get a scripture real quick. Isaiah 42, yep. Isaiah 42 and 7, to open the blind eyes. Yeah, because before the Lord brought us into the truth, we were blind to the understanding of what the Lord actually wanted from us to bring out the prisoners. Yeah, because we are, um, Isaiah 51, this right here, Isaiah 51 and 14, the captive exile hasten that he may be loosened, that he should not die in a pit. What's the pit? The system that Esau Edom is implementing, that if you say anything against the truth or because of your beliefs, you're going to be called um, extremists or radicalists. You should not die in a pit, which is their system, okay? Nor that his bread shall fail. So nor his bread shall fail. And what is the bread that we're eating of? That spiritual bread, okay, of uh, in John 6 it speaks about. That spiritual bread, which is our Lord, Yahweh Shai. We're eating off the table. What is the table? The scriptures. We're eating, we're supping off the plate, okay, of the scriptures spiritually. Isaiah 51 and 14 in the NLT. Soon all your captives will be released. Imprisonment, starvation, and death will not be your fate. This is not going to be the fate of the very elect, okay? Now, some of us are going to have to taste, uh, uh, some of you shall not taste death, but some of us are going to have to be mortars. But ultimately, that's a crown upon your head, okay? So Isaiah 42 and seven to open the blind eyes to bring out the prisoners from the prison and let them sit in darkness out of the prison house yet to be uh free we're free mentally and spiritually and we're physically waiting on our lord you have a shot okay it says i am the lord how about shimmer shy i'm the lord yahweh okay that is my name and my glory i will not give to another needing any praise to graven images yet so the lord's not going to give it to another okay when you read malachi three and six the Lord's not giving it to you all you need, uh, heathen nations. He made a covenant with what? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Okay. And Jacob had, uh, his name was changed to Israel. Okay. Which Israel means, um, in the Hebrew means, uh, Yasha Allah, which means princes of the power. Okay. And he, uh, Jacob had what? 12 sons. Okay. Which is the Northern and Southern tribes being brought back together 
which would be the elect in this time, the apple of the Lord's eye, because of the apple of the Lord's eye, which is the Israelites, there is an, a, a remnant, okay, of, the, of that. There is a, a select, you know, um, few, okay, Malachi 3 and 6, starting with the 144,000 and the, and the one-third, okay, the children and women. Malachi 3 and 6, for I am the Lord, Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, the sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the Lord changes not. He made the covenant with Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Okay, and the Lord is what a merciful power. Okay, he's not going to um, uh, forget or forsake. Okay, uh, let me see. Slack here, bear with me. I think it might be 103. Let's see. Psalms 103 and 1. It says, Bless the Lord, Yahweh, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. So that's what the elect will be doing, blessing that holy name. Bless the Lord, Yahweh, O my soul, and forget not all the benefits. Yeah, so we're not supposed to forget the benefits of the Lord. Okay? Who forgive all thy iniquities and heal with all diseases. So the Lord is going to heal everything that, that that's hurting right now. Mentally, physically. Okay. That he's healing us. Okay. By having an understanding of who we are. And ultimately, physically, by beaming up to his very elect. It says, um, For who redeemeth the life from the destruction. Who crowneth thee with thy love and kindness and tender mercies. Okay. Who redeemeth uh, thy life. Yeah, the Lord is the redeemer. Okay, from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. Yeah, the mercies of David, Psalms 51, who satisfy thy mouth with good things. Yes, yeah, so the Lord is the one that gives us the mouth to be able to speak. Jeremiah 1 speaks about that. Who satisfy the mouth with good things so that the youth is renewed like eagles. Yes, yeah, so we're able to be uh, renewed. Okay, we're able to be beamed up in those chariots. Okay, renewed like the eagles. Yeah, so we can be able to have our vision and be able to uh, uh, not be a prey. Okay, because again, an eagle. Um, let me just see if it says anything. Okay, we're 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 not able. You know, let me see what it says. Strong's age fifty four oh four. Nesher, Nesher. Okay, because the eagle is known as a very uh, a fierce bird. That's why when I read Jeremiah 49 and 2, or 22, it speaks about um, Yahweh Shai being that eagle and shall rise up, okay? Going into an eagle, uh, being, you know, one of the leaders in the in the, um, in the the kingdom, okay? Far as, and I'm saying this far as they're, they're always the ones that are, that are uh, um, you know, they have a keen eyesight, okay? They're able to fly above the, you know, above the sky, okay? Going into, we're going to have peace. Okay, I'm going to be renewed with our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, Psalms 103. And actually, some of us are going to get spiritual powers. Okay, so we will be able to fly and things like that. Okay, some of us will. Okay, uh, Psalms 103 and 6. The Lord Yahweh executed righteousness and judgment for all that oppressed. Because, yeah, because when you go into that word Isaiah 59 and 19, you go into that word standard, it goes into disappear to fly, okay, to take flight. Okay, it speaks about that. So the Lord is going to do great works, okay? Um, that's what's going to make also um, people believe in that day. Because it speaks about in the scriptures, thou shalt be willing in that day, okay? And this is what um, you know Esau, Edom is afraid of because when you believe in something, okay, um, that makes you dangerous to the society, okay? Because you, we're willing to what, um, you know, lay down our life on the line. Okay, through the power of Yahweh Shemashai, and that's not being cardinal. Okay, because our weapons of warfare are not cardinal. Okay, because to be cardinal is enmity with the Lord. Okay, but this is a spiritual thing. This is this this devil's being taken down spiritually, and ultimately the Lord Yahweh Shai will rise up to the prey. Okay, Psalms 103 and 6. The Lord Yahweh executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Yeah, and we are oppressing this devil. Okay, and he's never gonna let up until he's put down. It says, he made known his ways unto the Moses and to his acts unto the children of Israel. So again, the Lord's people, and he loves a certain people, and he hates another certain people, okay? And he loves the Israelites, okay? And he loves particularly his elect. It says, 
This is the point. Eight, the Lord, Yahweh Hashem HaShai, is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plentiness and mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. Yeah, so the Lord is not always going to be angry at us, okay? The reason why we were sent into captivity, because we were worshiping after these false gods and false idols, okay? Because it speaks about in Hosea 5.15, okay? Hosea 5.15, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. And that's what we're doing. We're acknowledging our offense by repenting to the Lord. Okay, re meaning back, and pent meaning searching out the Lord, searching out the scriptures and, and examining ourselves. And, and um, the Lord is what trying us and the test of our faith. I will go and return to a place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. Yes, yeah, seek the Lord's face. Okay, while he may be found, which is what, uh, uh, you know, finding uh, the truth. Okay, and the Lord will guide you to the truth and seek my face in their affliction and they will seek me early. Okay, and that's what we're doing because we see the destruction that's coming down. Okay, and we see the, um, you know, the, the, we see the, um, the great accusation coming down. Okay, but the Lord's going to keep us as the apple of his eye. Right, going back to that. This is Psalm 17 and 8. Keep me as the apple of thy eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress me, from the deadly enemies who can pass me about. And that's what they're doing. They're compassing us about as far as with their unrighteous decrees and deeming, uh, you know, certain things as hate speech. OK, when it's actually just straight out the Bible. OK, they are enclosed in their own fat with their mouth. They speak proudly. Yeah, they speak very boastful. You will own nothing and be happy. OK, if you speak against our um. You know, you speak against what we're saying, okay, we will put you in prison, okay? And that's where a lot of people are going to say, no, nah, I don't want to be a part of this Israelite thing, <laughs> okay? Because they didn't count the cost. Psalm 17, and where the elect are actually going to be exalted far as they're going to be, um, and what I mean by exalted is they're going to be able to have wisdom to be able to understand that we have to go through certain things, okay? Through, through scriptures like Revelation 2 and 10. That we shall be put in prison 10 days, which 10 is, is a, a perfect number of days when you go into the numerology of the, the number or you can go into the um, with the, the numerology of 10. OK, and what it means, it means um, a, a perfect, a perfect number of days. So it could be 10. It could be less. It could be more. OK, but it will be the, the test that we have to uh, take. OK, and also uh, scriptures like Revelation 20 and 4. OK, some of us shall be beheaded for the truth. But John the Revelator. Uh, saw, you know, men getting crowns that have victory over the, the beast, his image, and his mark. Okay? They, it says, they have now compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes bow bowing down to the earth. So how do they um, set their eyes upon us? Via the internet. Okay? They watch you through your, your smart TV. They watch you through your phone. They're watching every, um, every system, okay, that you're using, your credit card, your bank account, uh, you know, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, who you subscribe to. Okay, what you follow, what group that you're in, what you're saying, what you're doing. Okay, this devil has control. He's looking down on you because he is that eagle. Also, he is that eagle right now. He is the he's the one that's um you know uh you know come from far, you know, to you know to to, to oppress us. Okay, because again that eagle is in, in different parts, it means different things in each each uh, precept. Okay, they have compassed us. And our steps, they have set their eyes bowing down to the earth, like as a lion that is greedy, okay? And what does a lion do? When a lion comes out, what, it, what does it do? It attacks, okay? And all the other animals, what flee? And that's Esau Edom when he comes in, because he's going to be coming in with those drones, with those super soldiers, with those dogs, okay? But the elect are not going to be afraid, okay? Because we understand that th they're going to come in like a flood. Like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as were a young lion lurking in secret places, Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Okay, and this is uh, King David speaking about this. And the tabernacle of David is being risen in the days of old. And who is thy sword? Esau, Edom. Isaiah 10 and 5, the Assyrian, the rod of the Lord's anger. Okay, but the Lord has control over that sword, whether it's um, to bring it to you, okay, or to, to um, you know, to bring you, uh, mer to have mercy upon you. Okay. And that's the time that we're in where these judgments are going to be coming forth. Okay. And the Lord's going to do it in what righteousness. He's not going to do it in, in um, um, you know, he's not, he's not going to do it the way Esau Edom's going to do it. He's going to do it in righteousness. Okay. 
So going back to, so the Lord is going to disappoint that sword from coming down when these certain things happen like this, when they're saying, you know, nationality. And so also that's another thing, okay, of who you are. If you're a Hebrew Israelite, that's why they want to use the term black. Okay, they want to push black because black is a false social construct that Esau Edom put in place, making himself uh, white, which means purity or which means, uh, you know, clean. Okay, and black means what? Void of light. Okay, and that was a false social construct that Esau Edom put in place <coughs> in 1681. Okay, in the, uh, the Bacon Rebellion, which is an unrighteous decree to what? Uh, take lands by violence. Okay. Um, disruption of public order or society in Australia, because again, this um, when you're speaking this truth, okay, you're going to be deemed uh, a dissident, okay. And what I wanted to bring out was this also because this came out last year, okay. I believe the beginning of last year. Slack in, and this is in America, so June 7, 2022. Okay, so this came out. It says a summary of terrorism threat to the United States. Okay, so this is the people that they deem to be terrorists. Okay. And uh, and this is what they're saying. It says these t and then what are they doing? They're pushing um, they're pushing that the ideology, okay, that the you are against what the, uh, the 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 you wishes. Okay. And what is it? What does it say? This is the, I just want to get this point. These targets could include public gatherings. So again, that's how they're going to be able to take us off the streets. Okay. Um, by saying that you know, we're pushing hate when we're actually just pushing the scriptures. Okay. These targets could include public gatherings, faith based institutions. And that's what we're all about is faith. Okay. And that's what they're targeting when you read Slakia. So faith based. Okay, and that's what we're all about, faith-based. So anybody that believes in something, okay, a racial, because they're they're they're, they're they said there's going to be class wars and civil wars. Okay, also you had the King Alfred plan, okay, which is it doesn't matter who you are, if you are if you look like the you know a, a so-called minority, okay, then you're going to be uh, um, taken out. That's what the King Alfred plan is all about. When you go when you actually uh, um, look into it, okay, and that's going to be where there's going to be. Uh, you know, so-called white, so-called against black, okay? And there's going to be no laws, okay? Faith, because there's going to be martial law, okay? Uh, which means no, no, um, bill, or no, you're not going to be able to report to anybody, put it that way, okay? Racial and religious minorities, uh, yeah, government, yeah, so again, and we're seeing some of this happen when you had that thing, um, you know, the, the thing that happened in uh, Indiana, where someone ran into the, one of the schools out there, but what is that? group pushing they're pushing that you know um you know they're pushing basically i just want to say false false doctrine anyway okay but their 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 school was attacked or whatever okay um so a lot of these are going to be psyops too because it, that's what i want to say is these groups have 501c3 contracts so they're going to have to do certain things okay that we're going to have to see okay of of certain things that are going to happen that you're going to be like, what What was that? But these are going to be psyops, and it's going to be our own people. That's why the judgment's going to begin at the house of Israel, okay? So faith-based. So going into that faith, so this is in the apartment homeland security. They're openly saying that, okay, who they want to target, okay? Let's get this. This is Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, now is faith. It says, now faith is the substance of the things hoped for, the evidence of the things not seen. So hope goes into expectation, Okay, we're hoping and um, um, hoping that we're of the elect, that we're able to endure to the end. Okay, and that that pushes fear to Esau Edom. Say that's why he's tar the saying that we are um, extremists or radicalists. Hebrews 11 and 1 in the NLT. Faith is, faith is the confidence that we hope for will actually happen. Yeah, so will actually happen. And we know it's going to happen. We're just praying we're of that number. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. So we don't we don't see the Lord with our eyes, but we see him through the men's works, through the works that are happening through our own lives. OK, we're not the same. You know, we shouldn't be the same as we were even last week. OK, we should be uh, asking you how for the increase in wisdom, knowledge and understanding and to be on fire for this word. OK, Hebrews 11 and 6. And this whole uh, Hebrews 11 is all about faith. And it goes into what our forefathers had to endure. Okay, 
Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, But without faith is it impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. So the, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means he is. Okay, Yah means he. Okay, and Hawa means breath. The Lord gives you the breath to be able to live, to get this understanding, to be able to uh, stand upon your feet. While the while the rest of the world is um, that that don't have this truth, they're actually in the congregation of dead. They're they're physically alive, but they're mentally and spiritually dead. Okay, so the Lord gives us that breath. Okay, through our Lord Yahweh Shai, we have access to the heavenly Father. It says uh, because our Lord Yahweh Shai is the intercessor. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Mosai must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay. And who are the ones that are diligently seeking the Lord? Okay. The very elect. They're crying and sighing for all the abominations that are done upon the earth. While the rest of the world is, is in an appliance, in compliance with, um, um, with Esau Edom. Because if you, <laughs> it's like the, the neighborhood watch, you know, if you, if you know something, you know, uh, say something. Okay, and we're, we're, you know, just to say it in the world, we're, we're crime stoppers, you know, we're trying to stop the crime um, via, you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, for the, those slogans that they have. Okay, if you if you know something, say something, you know, call this number, and what number are we calling? The number to Yahweh Shai, okay? Um, yeah, uh, this is John 3 and 18, okay? Because what we're doing is we're testifying, um, against the works that are evil okay and we're rebuking in the gate this is john 7 and 7 the world cannot hate you this is your shy speaking the world cannot hate you but me it hateth because i testify of it the works thereof are evil and that's what um the prophets are doing they're testifying of the works that are of evil but it's actually the word of yahweh shy okay um and this is john uh, 3 and 18 John 3 and 18 in the NLT. There is no judgment against anyone who believes in him. Believes in who? Yahweh Shah. But anyone who does not believe in him has already been judged for the Most High and believing, believing in the Most High's one and only Son. Yes, yeah, so the only begotten Son. And what is the image of Yahweh Shah? He's in the image of his Father. Okay? Uh, John 3 and 19 in the NLT. And the judgment is based on this fact. That the Most High's light came into the world, yeah, the truth came into the world, but people love darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it, for the fear their sins will be exposed. And that's what it is. Uh, people, they want to live in this world. They love this world. They love being oppressed under their oppressor because they don't have a, 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 a kingdom-minded mindset. Okay? They have a mindset of being a peasant. Okay? And when we're actually... Malaks, okay, which means kings in the Hebrew, okay, but we have to be under the king, king of king, king of, uh, you know, king of king, lord of hosts, which is our lord Yahweh Shai. When we're under, when we're following our lord Yahweh Shai, we are powerful, but when we are without him, we are weak, okay, and now the Lord is what, raising up men to be able to stand in front of their, stand upon their feet to be able to hear these tears, and what is the Lord doing it? He's doing it right in the face of our oppressor, okay. And also you have um, this right here. This was an a article that came out, Natural News, okay, um, 8 7 So I, I kept it in a, in a bookmark because this is what they're going to be targeting. It says, um, slock your barrel with me. All right, so it says, remember the government hit list of 72 different types of Americans who could be terrorists. When you think about the top secret doc that just leaked, hinting a FEMA camps ahead, okay? And we know that to be true because the Lord, Revelation 2 and 10, um, you know, uh, 2nd Ezra 15 speaks about being idle, you know, offering things unto idols, okay? So this is what's coming down. And what you see is what that eagle, which is also a symbolism of Esau Edom, okay? It says, um, if Americans needed any proof, freedom is under out of attack by a shadowy group of wannabe tyrants, uh, tyrants masquerading as government here in America. Yeah, because these are unelected officials. Okay. It says, uh, but they're but they are selected by what the um, Esau Edom, okay, and put in place to be cult of personalities. 
It says government here in America, we get it from the new story over the Project Virus reporting newly leaked document provided to them by FBI whistleblower showing how everyday Americans are being looked at as potential domestic terrorists over very common symbols that might be in items and clothing and wear praises that might use and more. Okay. So, um, and it just goes into, you know, basically everything that we, that we push. Okay. Our, again, our weapons of warfare are not carnal. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just get some of them. Yeah, so anti what? Okay, and that's what, and that, that's it. That's in the scriptures. We're supposed to be anti that. Okay, and but what does this world push? They push that. Okay, Roman. What does it say? Romans one. And uh, no, it's in Romans one. <coughs> Slack it, bear with me. Yeah, Romans 1 and about. Romans 1 and 26, I'll read in the NLT. It says, that is why that power abandoned them to their shameful desires. Even the woman turned against the nature way to have sex instead of indulging in sex with each other. Okay, going into the, uh, the woman on woman. And the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, burn with lust for each other. Men did shameful things with other men. And as a result, their sin, they suffered within themselves and penalty they deserved. Yeah, be going into the, the diseases that come from that. Okay. And that's against the Lord. Okay. Um, and so that's what, and we're against that. Okay. But the society is for it. Okay. Um, And this is going to be another thing that's going to be pushed because you have what the where the where the small hats are pushing, uh, you know that that right there, okay. And they're trying to link that into us because um, uh, the IUIC have um, there was something I believe it was in the five hundred one c three that they are linked into to uh, Muslim community, okay. So again, and we're nothing affiliated with that, okay. Um, yeah, and so this one is another one, okay? Anyone that is opposed to the New World Order, okay? And what is the New World Order? Buying and selling with the mark of the beast, okay? Agenda 21, FEMA camps, okay? This is where all the chaos is going to be brought forth, okay? And that's just a couple. Um, I'll try to leave that link. You know, that that's actually, I did a lesson about that when it did come out, okay? But these are all the things that are being pushed. And, they're, and if you are against that, then you are what? A terrorist, Okay, but the Lord's got our back. Okay, um, I'll get a scripture for that. This is, uh, and I'll end it. Because <laughs> what they're doing is they're pushing forth unrighteous decrees. Okay, um, let me get a couple of scriptures on that. Isaiah 10 and 1. Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe, which means destruction unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievances which they have prescribed. Yeah, so they have prescribed these things to be able to be happening. And one of them is to to uh to to try to demonize the truth. Isaiah 29 and 21. Isaiah 29 and 21. They make a man offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reprove in the gate and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Okay, and that's what we're seeing um, being pushed. And this is going to lead to what the famine of the word. Okay. <clears throat> uh, another scripture I want to get. This is Amos. Amos 5 and 8. 5 and 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate that abhor him that speak uprightly. Okay, and they hate that, but they can't do nothing about it. 15. Hate the evil because this is what we're supposed to be doing. This is a commandment. 15, hate the evil, love the good, and establish a judgment in the gate. That's why you have brothers that are on the highways and the byways doing the work. Okay, they're in the gate. Okay, the highways and the byways, the, the gaps in the hedges. It may be that Yahweh, thy power of hosts, armies, will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. So the Lord's going to be, um, and Joseph is interchangeable, okay, with what Ephraim, okay, which is going into 
that's particularly speaking about the elect okay the elect which is the remnant okay when you go into it so the elect would be calling about uh crying a sign for all the abominations that are done upon the earth okay and also the lord is going to um be our defender when that great accusation comes down this is a rock 51 actually i got i think there's one let me see that 50 and 29 yeah, Sirach 50 and 28. Blessed is he that be exercised in these things. So the things of what the Lord that are pleasing to the Lord. And he that, it says, and he that layeth them up in his heart. So in his mind shall become wise. Yeah, wise means to be able to see. You're able to see the vision. Where there is no vision, the people perish. 39 or 29. For if he do them. Yeah, so do the works that the Lord wants you to do. Okay, he shall be strong into all things for the light of the Lord. You have a shy lead at them. Yeah, down that straight path. It says, who giveth wisdom to the godly, so the ones that are calling upon the name, okay, blessed be the name of the Lord forever, Aman, Aman. So Aman in the Hebrew means that will be done, okay, and these things are going to be done that the ones that are following upon uh, the Lord, okay, we're going to be strong, we're going to have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding when that great accusation comes down, because the Lord's going to be a defender. Sirach 51 and 2, I'm going to skip around. For thou art my defender, and my helper has preserved my body from the destruction and from the snare of the slanderous tongue, and from the lips that forge lies, and have been my helper against my adversaries. And that's what the Lord's going to be, a helper against our adversaries. Okay, skipping down. Six, by the accusation to the king from the unrighteous tongue, my soul drew near even to death. My life was near to hell beneath. Hell is the condition played out on earth, and that's the condition that's going to be happening as far as the food and the water and the shelter are going to be cut off, but the Lord is going to have... Um, have that wisdom that's going to go down that straight path for the very elect. Okay, they can pass me on every side, yeah, with their militaries, with their super soldiers. Okay, uh, like a madman sparing none, they can pass me on every side, and there was no man to help me. I looked for a secure of men, but there was none. So, secure goes into a hiding place. It says, Then I thought upon the mercy of the Lord. Okay, the Lord has to be Revelation 3 and 20, the Lord has to be supping with you. Then I thought upon the mercy of the Lord and upon the acts of old, how thou deliverest such as wait for thee, and savest them out of the hands of thy enemies. Thou lifted up supplications, goes into the prayers from the earth, and I pray for deliverance from death. I called upon the Lord and the Father of my Lord, that he would not leave me in the days of my trouble, yet the time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, and the time of the proud, Esau Edom, when there was no help. I will praise that name continually, showing you how important the name is. Praise the Lord continually, and I will sing praises with thanksgiving, and so my prayer was heard. For thou savest me from the destruction and deliverest me from the evil time, okay, a time of trouble like never before. Therefore, I will give thanks I will, and praise thee. Bless the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. So with that, call Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekha Kodash. Shalom to the elect. Call me Shalom.